look at that, guys. There's the uh, golden, the top scorers, and Arias is still top four goals ahead of everyone else. So it's looking good for the golden boot. Right, so we've got a final report on Andre. Oh, I think this is that free agent 55. You know what? I'm going to see if I can pick him up just because he's a backup and I don't, and he's a left back as well. That's interesting. Uh, yeah, I'm going to just because, like I say, next season when all my defenders go back on loan, I literally only have like one or two defenders, don't I? So just to cover me until I buy some players next season. Um, we'll offer him... Sporadic. Okay, so they're happy with that. Five years, I'm happy with that. Yeah, we don't want a release clause. Accept that. And then, are they going to offer a wage? 750. Yeah, I can afford it. I'm happy with that. Uh, so we'll accept that. So that's my defence potentially covered until we bring in some big defenders next season. Uh, so I can delete that. And then we've got a transfer offer for Max Bird. Leicester. Interesting. Uh, but again, I'm going to reject that. Delete that. And we shall play Wigan. Let's just have a look at our new sign-in. Can I fit him on the bench? Yeah, so Edmondson, Clark, and Mengi would all be leaving. So all I've got is Rico, Orisio. But now we've got this guy, which is grand. So. Wow, he's got 63 physical for a. Uh, how old is he? 19. 19 year old. That's not too bad, I guess. I don't think there's anywhere that I could fit him on the bench just yet. Because I, I, I don't really want to drop Mengi. Because obviously he scored and he's not doing too bad. I don't want to drop Rico. Um, don't want to drop this guy too much. I uh, don't think there's anyone, so no, we'll leave him on the bench on the reserves for now. I guess. Is it, right? I want to see if I can get twenty at least twenty-five goals with Arias this season. Anything more than that is a bonus, but I think twenty-five would be. Uh, great for his first season at Derby. And then it might also... What a save! David Marshall would have conceded that. It'll also put the championship on alert when we get when we come up next season. But my God, I can't believe that save. That was brilliant. And Roberts is off again. Look at those legs go. I wish. I don't know. I wish. Dragged back. Yes, it worked. You know what we're going to do? We're going to finesse that. And it's got worked again. My God. Roberts and his finessing is bloody brilliant. Definitely, definitely, definitely considering re-signing him. I wonder what his value is. But let me know in the comments, guys. Should he be... Our first signing next season. I mean, look at that. That right-hand side is his side. Even with the rise in the way. And, oh, that's face on the left. He still goes for... Although it kind of worked that Arias put the keeper off. Maybe the keeper thought that he was going to go top left. And then just at the uh, last minute, he thought, crap, he's gone bottom right. Or he's gone right, hasn't he? Is he on double digits? He is. Ten goals. Wow. What a save again. This keeper, man. I think we found our keeper, guys. Two awesome saves that he's made. And like I say, he has a uh, a rating of... Well, I think he can go to at least 81 potential, which is good. So, hopefully by the time we get to Champions, uh, sorry, Premier League, <coughs> he should be at least late 70s, hopefully. Although, if we get our training um, 
thing back. It might grow even more. Look at that! My God, he knows how to dive in everything. I love him. Look at that. These goals, these are what David Marshall would concede. Typical. He makes all these awesome saves and he concedes like a, a little goal like that. It's just just my luck, innit? Look, what are you doing like that in the crowd, boo? Just bloody typical, isn't it? That's such a soft goal to concede. There we go. That's a lovely bit of teamwork there between Arias and Sibley. Nice little Arias was holding everyone off and just gives Sibley a chance to run into all that space. Look at it. And then I'm surprised that free ball actually got free, you know, to be honest. And then the angle that Sibley was at. Right, come on, guys. Edmondson, what can you do? Oh, that's some fancy. Well done, Clark. I'm not going to lie. I am going to miss them too when they go. But I think if I'd get promoted, we're only going to get like three or four million, aren't we? Potentially. So um, I don't think I'm going to be able to... Damn it. You're offside, you're offside. I don't think I'm going to be able to afford to buy them both. So it's going to be tough. Who do I bring in next season? Like on a budget as well. What a ball to Roberts. I do think next season we are going to probably rely heavily on um, the free agents potentially for a lot of bit more depth. So hopefully there'll be a, a fair few decent players around the uh, late 60s, early 70s mark that I can pick up to bolster the squad. And then, not to sound harsh, but hopefully the, some of them might be a bit of a cash cow for the Premier League. Or probably towards like January, maybe. Damn it. I thought I stopped that. Boo. Not, oh well. Point's a point, isn't it? I mean, we're still probably going to be about eight points clear. Maybe seven points. So it's not too damaging. Okay, so it's not too bad. We're still ten points clear. Um... So I do think we, we might just pull the win off. If we can keep up like draws. Uh, I keep hitting my desk. If we if we keep pulling off draws and the occasional win, I'll be happy with that. Because it's not too bad. As long as, I mean, I'd love to finish first because I think we get a lot more money, don't we? If we finish first and second. Um, so hopefully we'll get quite a decent sum to get from it. But I do think it's probably going to be around three or four million something like that i'm gonna sim this game against plymouth just because i it's the final game of the episode and i'm just all played out um so we'll just go to quick sim and hopefully we will get a win i love how that rhymes and let's see how it does two nil nice guys the Akin knight that's not too bad knight showing he's a little bit of a goal scorer um so that should be 13 points, hopefully. Unless... Oh, it's the uh, deadline day. Fine. Never mind. Uh, what we got? Play a chat. I need more time. I rely on you when it matters. I do, but I've, I'm sorry, man. Roberts is only in that right-hand side. And Yosviak isn't doing too bad on the left. So it, it's hard to to bring him in when I can't, I've got nowhere to fit him. Shall we have a look at the top deals? Uh, Koulibaly's gone to Bayern Munich, Martinez to United, Bernardo Silva to Real Madrid, Mobile to Real Madrid, Milinkovic Savic to Liverpool, Koke to Bayern, Jesus to Barcelona, Opamancanio to Spurs, Aubameyang to Inter, wow, Jamie Vardy to Barcelona, 58 million for Jamie Vardy, wow, Sabotage to Liverpool, Gomez to Spurs, Kavajal to, I can't say his name, to Man City, to Esther Vigil, I can't say his name, to Bayern, Oscar to Paris SG, Grimaldo to United, Vinicius Junior to City, Correa to Chelsea, Williams to Arsenal, Luke Shaw to Real Madrid, Cavett Lewin to Valencia, Corona to Inter, Zielinski to Arsenal. Aren't they linked with Zielinski in real life? I think. 
Zinchenko to Napoli, Saka to Juventus, Harvey Barnes to Lusk, uh, Leipzig, Inter to United, Moreno to Everton, Kyle Walker, Feather. Some interesting signings. I must admit, buying seem to be the busiest. Um, although Inter don't seem to have done too bad. Uh, okay, so there's some interest. So look who we've done. So we've brought Almada, Bazunu, Arias, uh, Rico, Piera. And then we sold Richards, we brought in Valkovsky, so we're not doing too bad ourselves. <laughs> Ew. I hate colds. It's the final countdown. <laughs> Curious to see. Uh, how do I do this right? So like a lot of teams, we're, we're getting rid of players, but because they're all probably running out of contract, we're not. No one's making really any profit, are they? It's a shame about League One, isn't it? Like, although Shrewsbury don't seem to do bad. They've got a player in and a player out, and they haven't spent anything apart from the wages. But it's just a shame that League One's, like... The lower leagues are ruined by the, the, the money and the amount of players right. <clears throat> that are on high wages or cost far too much. <sighs> it's a shame. Right, what we got? Lawrence approach made. Again, that's fine. What is How much is Lawrence worth? So I, I bet I'm losing like 5 million there, aren't I? Uh, financial. It's so Clark's. Oh, uh, Laney, Laney, Laney. So Yosezoon's worth 900. Oh, okay. It's not. It's only 1.8. So I've lost 450,000 with Kazim. That's fine. So I'm probably going to lose like a million with Lawrence. Uh, so I'm not losing too much. Wagon, another one that's probably going to hurt to lose, but that's fine. Um, Mitchell Larson's probably around a mid. Well, obviously, he's a youngster, so he's got potential to grow. So I'm. I'm going to lose a bit of money there. The rest isn't that bad. I wonder how much the rest of the squad's worth. So Pereira is valued at 1.1. So I, I picked him up on a cheap. Veloski is valued at 250,000. Vazuna is 1.4. Uh, Rico is 975. I forgot that I got him on a release clause. Next season, I'm going to have to try and sort them out. Hector Ingram is at 500,000. I can't wait for him to come back, actually. Pardon me, I, I like him. Uh, 600,000 for Jonathan Mitchell. Jack Marriott, 1.7. But I might sell Marriott next season, I don't know. Uh, Almada, 700. Belix, 5. Uh, Josviak, 3.4. Sibley, 3.4. Arias is 1.1. How old is he? 25. Uh, Max Bird 2.5, Jason Knight 2.6, uh, Galenio is 2.2 for 220,000, uh, Cornell McDonald is 250. Uh, I'm going to add him to the loan list. I won't mind him going out on loan. Uh, Lee Buchanan is 2.2 mil, so that's not too bad for him. Uh, Jordan Ives 2. Point, oh, just 2 million, not 2.5. What am I about? Uh, Graham Shinney is 1.8. David Marsh was 375. Uh, Jordan Brand, 425,000. Bradley Foster, 240,000. Louis Watson, 300,000. I'm going to lay Louis Watson out as well, I think. Uh, Scott Carson, 100,000. I can't believe that he's gone on a free transfer to Man City. That is bonkers. I mean, we could have got some probably some money from... Man City. I just hate how this season we've lost a load of money 
due to players running out of contract and letting them all go on for free. I mean, we could have made something to pay some of the bit. I know we've got like that transfer embargo and whatnot, but surely if if we've got play, if we're selling players, the money that would have come in would have helped us big time with the embargo. I hate it. Right, Tom Lawrence has gone. Okay, that's fine. So that saves me releasing those two players next season. That's fine. Uh, what's this? What's this? What's this? Oh, Malmo trusted in. Oh, here we go. I'm not. I don't want to sell him, but I'm happy for him to delegate a uh, loan. I'm going to go for a shame. I can't select a two-year loan, isn't it? Really. So and then. Oh, okay, so um, Martin Waghorn's potentially going as well, okay. You squad monthly reports, anyone decent? It's still, these two are, are looking good, and then obviously there's the uh, the left back as well, although he's, he's gone... I don't really need left back now. I don't, well, I kind of do. I don't know. Potentially, but he's still only 15. This guy, though, is looking really good. I'm going... I'm going to promote him, I think. And I'm going to loan him out. Uh, yeah, so... Promote... Um, I'm going to promote him. And I'm going to promote this goalie, sorry. And I'm going to add them to the list. But I do all that off camera as well. So I'm going to sort it. Oh, no, I can't do the wages yet. Can I transfer windows closed? Why can't? Oh, damn it. The agreement's broken down. Crappy now. Uh, what's the point of my career? I'm just looking at options. That's fine. Um, so, guys, I'm going to end this episode here in a second. Thank you very much for watching. I do hope you all have enjoyed it. If you have, please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you are new. Um, and I believe there isn't too much more to go um, game-wise. Let's have a look. How much is that? So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. 14, 15, 15 games left. So it's not too bad. So that's what? 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay, 4. 4 months left. So it's probably about 3 or 4 episodes left for this season. So don't forget in the comments to leave me... Um, <coughs> what's the, what's the, what I'm after? What you think we should get next season? Shall we get either the youth squad back or like the youth training facility so we'll be able to hire scouts and send them out? Or shall we get the training facility back? I'm more open to the training facility than the youth squad at this point because I think training some of these players would be immense and then we can also train the youth squad as well uh, rather than being able to... to Although I won't train the squad because that's a separate thing to the scout. So yeah, so just ignore that. Um, but I'd rather have the training facility for the first team back if possible. So let me know in the comments what you prefer. The youth scout setup or the training facilities for the first team. And that's what we will get given when we get promoted to the championship. Um, <clears throat> so I'm guessing that we are probably going to get promoted. I mean, look at that. We're about running away. I, although it's only 10 points, it's... 10 points better off than most of them, isn't it? And we've got the goal scorers, so I do think we are going to get automatic. Um, yeah. So that's about it. So thank you very much for watching, guys. I do hope you all have enjoyed the episode, and I will see you all in the next one. Do take care. Bye.